everybody welcome back to crafting on a budget store.com for all your scrapbooking crafting needs and much much more welcome back um i thought we would get started with matting pages one three and five i'm only going to do page one on camera and then you'll have the measurements for everything so that you can do one, three, and five, and then I'll do two on camera, and then you'll have the measurements for two and four, and you can do them however you want. Now I am gonna be mixing in some black paper because this, this project uses a lot of paper, and I wasn't really thinking it through when I picked this project. <laughs> So, not only does it use a lot of base paper, it uses a lot of pattern paper. So, let's get to it and let's start on page one. Now, these are going to be the measurements for pages one, three, and five. So, I'm going to be using art glitter glue. And so, the first thing you want to cover are your flaps. Now, we're going to need four of these pages that are six and three quarters wide by five and three quarters high. And basically there's gonna go one on the front here, one on the reverse side. And then if you flip it over, one's gonna go here and one's gonna go here, okay? So those I already cut out. I just have to figure out which ones I like. But again, these are six and three quarters wide by five and three quarters high. You are going to have a border around them, um, and I, my glitter glue is clogged. I should check that ahead of time. Sorry, guys. It should be okay now. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so you are going to have a border around them. So let's do these, and we'll, I'm going to go slowly. Oh, and I wanted a magnet. Um, I wanted a magnet here. All right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was going to say, don't tell me the magnets aren't in here because I just got them the other day. Got them out. Okay. Um, I want a magnet on the edge here to keep things closed. So let me grab some tape for that. Some tape there and then put some on the reverse side sorry about that okay so now I'm gonna pull that off slide it back on I put some tape underneath it so that I can just Go like that, push it down a little bit, and now, ooh, I'm getting glue on there, okay. And now that magnet's down and this one's down, okay. Now I have to re-glue this and take off my uh, tape. I don't know how I got blue ribbon on this, but I do. I don't know how that happens. I'm just going to cut that off. I know, guys, everything is sticking together. Yeah, you're, um, the reason I'm doing one on camera is because there's just a little, too, it's going to be too confusing for you guys to be hearing directions each time, measurements each time, and then trying to figure out what paper is going to work, what you should conserve, what you should put away for later. Because don't forget, we have covers to do. We have a lot of things to do. So that's why I'm just telling you this is why I'm doing it the way I'm doing it. There is a method to my madness. Okay, and I love these guys. So these guys are going on first. Okay. All right. And then remember that same size, six and three quarter by five and three quarters going to go on here. Cute. I love these pictures. Okay. 
And then on this side, yeah, I did glue it together with when it sat there. Hmm, I'm wondering if I want a magnet on this side too. Let's have a think. Let's have a think about the magnet. I think so. Uh, I think so. I don't know. I just like things to stay put. It's just me, guys. I'm a little... Oh, oddball like that. Um, so, yeah, let's, let's do it. Except is that going to be... I don't want that to land where the pop is. I mean, I think it is, so... Maybe I'll put it down here. Okay. Let me put another. Let it, let it find its way. Grab another piece of tape. Okay. Now I'm just going to slide this tape under my magnet. Did it find it? No. Wrong way. Where is it? There we go. Didn't get all the way on the tape, but that's okay. At least it's it's on the magnet. That's the most important. Okay. So there we have that. So now I'll take this tape off. And I'm going to take those final two pieces. Oh my gosh, look at all these little critters. They're just so cute. I can't take it. They're so stinking cute. This guy here. Okay. And then this piece here. All right. So that's what you need those that's why you need four of that measurement but you're really going to need more than four you're going to need 12. See, see why i'm saying we have to really look at what paper we have and how we're going to conserve the paper um so that's why i'm going to be using black with some stuff so now let's get back to our front and now let's address the envelopes okay now I'm using a combination of black and pattern paper for my envelopes. And the reason I'm doing that is because I have cut off sheets from the eight by eight when I was cutting down these sheets and they didn't quite fit the envelope. So what I did was I made two pieces because remember we have to do both sides of the envelope two pieces of black that are five and five eighths by two and a quarter okay now remember this is only for one page you're gonna have to do this two more times okay all right so I, I figure I'll do the black add some black in here so that we have so that we're not wasting paper and we're utilizing our scraps as best as we can okay that there all right so now i have those pieces and then i have some scraps so i'm going to use these these are five and three eighths by two and two eighths and i'm just going to put that on top okay so that doesn't look bad Looks like a little border around it where I'm still utilizing the pattern paper, but I'm not, I'm not using it completely. I'm just using, you know, kind of cutoffs because I, I just don't want to get to the end and have no paper and then be like, okay, what, what are we going to do now? <laughs> because that would not be good. I would have to say may I need FedEx me some snow, snowy days, because I need it pronto. Um, okay, and then I have two little strips of pattern paper, which are five and three quarters 
by three quarters that I'm just going to put up here to cover the top of our, you know, this top piece here of the flip. Okay. So, and again, these are, the, these are cut off. These are scraps and I'm utilizing them and I'm going to be utilizing them as much as possible in this in this um, book because we really we don't want to run out of paper and I have an 8x8 pad I have a 12x12 pad and I also have the I forget what it's called but it's got all the tags and stuff in it I have that but that has pattern paper on the back so that's good because I'm using the pattern paper on the back of some of those tags so I won't be using all those tags okay now next you have this little piece here now this is smaller than these flaps okay so this piece the inside front page is six and a quarter by five and three quarters okay so you'll need one but you'll really need three because remember we have to do this two more times So again, six and a quarter by five and three quarters. And that fits nicely in there. Okay, so we have this, we have this. We might put a little strip here later when we see what we have. But right now I'm leaving this score area blank. Okay, now when we go to the back, we still have a pocket and the top of the pocket to deal with. So... The reverse side of page one, the big pocket on the bottom, you're going to need black. I'm using black first. I might end up putting a mat over it, but right now I don't know if I can do that because I don't know what my paper status looks like. So I'm not going to add anything to this right now except the black. So it might look a little off, but... This is how I want it to be until I know for sure what we have and what we don't have. You know what I'm saying? So that's why we're doing it this way. Okay. So that's that pocket. And that again, five and three quarters by three in black. And we may add something else on top of it, but that will be at the very end when we see what paper we have. And then the top piece is five and three quarters by two and three quarters okay and that's just gonna actually I could have made that even smaller yeah uh, you know what maybe let's make this two and three quarters and make that let's make this two and one two three four Maybe two and five eighths. Take a little bit off and see how that see how that helps us. Two and five eighths. I just noticed there wasn't enough border around it. Yeah, yeah. Do two and five eighths. So let me change that. Oh no, five and three quarters by two and five eighths. Okay. So five and three quarters by two and five eighths is going to be for the top part, the blank part that's above the envelope that we have going on here. Okay. And I'm going to go through the measurements one final time because this you're going to do for three pages. So I want to make sure that everybody is knowing what they're doing and knowing what they have going on okay all right okay so let's start at the beginning again this is for pages one three and five okay now slow it down if you or pause it and write down the direction the the um, measurements 
So for the front page, the, fr the first page, let's just call it the first page, pages one, three, and five, you are going to need four pattern pieces that measure six and three quarters by five and three quarters, okay? Two are going to be used on this front flap here, and two are going to be used on the reverse flap here, okay? The next measurement are the envelopes. You have two envelopes inside here on the, on the front of pages one, three, and five. The envelopes, you're going to mat them with black. You're going to need two because we have two envelopes. Five and five-eighths by two and a quarter. And then you're going to use your patterned paper scraps five and three eighths by two and two eighths. And then for the tops, you're gonna to be five and three quarters by three quarters. And you'll need two of each of those, two blacks, two pattern and two pattern tops to do that, okay? And then you're going to need on this inside page, one, that is six and a quarter by five and three quarters, okay? Because this is a little bit smaller than our flap because we have this, um, this flap and the, the, this little ledge here to deal with, okay? And then on the reverse side, we have this pocket page to deal with. And on this pocket for the big one, we're going to do the, the big pocket is, hold on, where is it? Where's my, I'm going to measure it because I want, I'm just making sure the big pocket is six and hmm, reverse side pocket page. Okay, so this is most, oh, I did do it right. I, I, I went over my five mark. Is six and three quarters by three. In fact, I'm gonna rewrite that because it still looks like a five. It's six and three quarters by three. And you want that in black for now. We might go back and fix it, okay? But this is the pocket, and then on top of it is five and three quarters by two and five eighths. Okay, so those are all your measurements for pages one, three, and five. Okay, so do those pages. You can add the magnets if you want. You don't have to if you don't want to. All right, um, but I did. I, I kind of like the magnets. I, I like keeping it nice and tight shut. All right. So now I'm going to move on and do the remaining two of this style, pages one, three, and five. And then when I come back, I will give you the measurements for pages two and four so that you can decorate those. All right. So hang tight. Let me see if I can at least get these, these three done and one done of the, um, other ones so you have the measurements so you can work on it okay um if i don't get to it tonight it will have to be tomorrow but i wanted to at least give you a head start and i also wanted to explain to you how much paper i have versus how much paper we're going to need okay it's, so it's very important you know when you're doing these projects that you know the minute you start cutting paper you should realize like, uh-oh, I, I don't know if I'm going to have enough paper for this. So let me adjust what I'm doing, add some, you know, regular cardstock in, a, a, you know, a colored cardstock in, and then go back at the very end and add what I have left. You never want to be, you know, two or three pages in and then look and say, oh my gosh, I don't have enough paper you know, to even, even do, you know, two more pages. Okay. And don't forget, we have the back pocket, we have the, you know, the inside, um, 
the front inside pocket and the back inside pocket. So we still have a lot of paper we need. Okay, so just keep that in mind as you're going along. I don't want to scare you, but I just want you to be prepared. And I will be back with the measurements for the next set of pages when I am done with these. Okay, so stay safe, be well, God bless you all, and bye for now.